Alright, hey everyone, first mail got you. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to more commentary from me. And I'm gonna continue again with more stupid, random, dumb, brain killing questions, of course. So, yeah, stay tuned, enjoy this random trip. And by the way, there will be some links in the description so you can check them out and just look at the random, stupid, dumb questions yourself. So, yeah, let's crack on. The monkey business, of course. Here's one that goes, I'm in love with my cat. Is there any way I can be his wife? Um, well, I'm not going to lie to you that it's probably possible in this fucked up stupid world that we live in these days. Um, but wait a second, I'm going to Google it. Oh my god, I just Googled it and it's not recognized by law in any country. But there have been attempts recorded of humans marrying animals. Fuck me, I'd not like to see that litter after the honeymoon. No sorry. Nope. Nah, -uh. no. What the heck is a masturbate? What is that? Oh, you're asking what is what is a masturbate, eh? Um, well, it's a bunch of like 25 to 30 people, say more or less that number, and you know, full of full of people in a room, and they just talk about different things. What? You asked about the master bit, didn't you? Oh, the other thing. Ah, right. Shit, I forgot. Um, I I don't have a clue to be honest. I just thought those people talking in a room. Oh my fucking god. Ah well, Google it for yourself. And yeah, discover. What are the advantages and disadvantages of incest? Hmm, advantage, having sex. But uh oh, disadvantage, having sex with a family member. Oh shit. Now you have to cut it off. I'm joking, but seriously, don't even attempt to do anything like that. I'm talking about incest now. You can cut it off if you want, but fucking leave the fucking family members alone. Oh my god. Oh, this is so fucked up. God damn it. Oh my god. This is why kids under the age of 15 should get the fuck off the internet. This question says, I'm 13. I feel I am old enough to have sex and know about it. Because everyone I know is starting to lose their virginity now. So, my question is, how old do you have to be until you grow your own condom? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? The f what the fuck? Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck it. I'm all. Fuck. Alright, I convinced myself to come back. And answer some attempt to answer at least more of these stupid fucking questions. God damn it, my brain is hurting, and, and some of these are just ridiculous, crude, and ah, uh, annoying. But hey, let's carry on the programming, eh? A few days ago, I adopted a child, but now I don't like it very much at all. How do I return it? R really? Fucking really? Someone deserves a fucking slap. I'm not joking. Fuck. Why can't I take my gun on a plane? I mean, what happens if a terrorist goes to hijack it and no one can stop it because no one has a weapon? Oh, that, that is a good true question there. Because this one time, I remember I was on a plane, um, some shit happened. Luckily, I had a gun prepared on me, right? Because, shh, don't tell him anything. Right? But, um, by the way, I was Samuel L. Jackson, and, um, thing is, some snakes broke out. And they were fucking going nuts, biting everyone, poisonous snakes and all. They were fucking killing everyone. In fact, they made a film out there, I think two films now, or three. Um, it's called Snakes on a Plane, but yeah, 
That was me, the guy who Samuel L. Jackson played, you know? Yeah, some good stuff there. You know this is a fucking joke. You know why you can't take a gun on a plane? For fucking safety so no one fucking hijacks it as well? You know they don't want anyone on a fucking plane with any kind of weapons? Duh. Help, I locked my keys in my car. What should I do? What's the quickest and quietest way of to get them in the car? Okay, check your surroundings. Right, you done that? Yeah? Tss. Smash your window. Hand in. Open the fucking door. Sit. No, don't sit down yet. Right? It's dangerous. You've got broken glass everywhere. Wipe it off. Yeah, I know, with your bare hands, right? I know, it's gonna catch you. Yeah, it's fucking obvious that's gonna catch you. But what? You gonna you want it to stick up your butt? Huh? Do you want that? No, I don't think so. So I'll have it cut your hand a little bit, innit? Make it look hard later on, innit? Life. Shh. Make it look like a emo, even. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, once you've done that, get, you're in the car, right? Close the fucking door. Start the fucking car up. And fucking off you go. Just have the window repaired whenever the fucking want. Whenever you can afford it, innit? That was a face fucking palm to the max. Seriously. Fucking hell. This question says, How do you tell if someone's a boy and someone's a girl? Huh? Um. Normally hair, normally facial features, normally body features. Yeah. You can normally tell with height and a bit of weight as well, you know? Yeah. What, do you not know any of that shit? Why are you looking in the mirror yourself like, Am I a boy or am I a girl? See, I don't know what a boy looks like, I don't even know what a girl look like, innit? I don't know if my mother's my mother, or my mother's my father, or is my father my mother? I don't even know if my brother's my sister, or my sister's my brother. I don't even know if my auntie's my uncle, or my auntie's my uncle. Huh? I'm so confused right now in my life. Yeah, seriously, get your head checked out. Ah, nice question, yeah. Why is rock music so loud? Kids down the street are always blasting there and it gives me a headache whenever they play it so loud. Why do they have to play it so loud? Can't they play some softer type of music? That isn't going to hurt the ears of everyone in the neighborhood. There's an old saying. If it's too loud, you're too old. Oh, you're too young. I guess, yeah. Yeah, the rock music. Um, well, most rock is not all like that these days. Um, I think you're looking at metal. Metal is fucking awesome. It has attitude. That's why you need to be fucking loud. That's why you need to be kick ass, hardcore, and fucking head banging mosh pits, motherfuckers. Hell Satan. <laughs> Creepy. Uh-huh. This commentary is almost done, by the way. I'm almost done. Stay tuned. Yep, more coming. Is it true cannibals don't eat clowns because they taste funny? No, it's not true. For the last time. Cannibals do not eat clowns because they are afraid of them. Most, hillbil most hillbillies are cannibals and hillbillies are afraid of clowns. There you go. But, however, they do eat clowns when they're not in their costume and makeup, obviously, because they're just a normal human being then. Duh! What happens when you get half scared to death twice while well, you just, you know, you just say, Oh, you, you scared me half to death. You don't go, You scared me half to death twice! Because <gasps> someone's going to be raising questions like, Fuck, are you dead? You know, and you're going to be there like, No, I'm standing right here in front of you. What? You wanna just stab me in the brain? You wanna just take off my head? Just destroy the brain? Huh? You wanna do that? Let's see in The Walking Dead, pal. Yet. Shh. This is a government secret. I hope not. Right, you know what's a stupid question? When you're at the cinema and you see a friend, a friend sees you, and they're all like, Oh, hey, it's been a long time. How you doing, man? Hey, what are you doing here? Um, I'm in the cinema. I'm watching a fucking movie. 
What do you think I'm doing? What? You think I'm smoking a cigar, putting my feet up, fucking spanking the monkey to fucking whatever the fuck's on the big huge screens here in front of all these people? Huh? You, you think that? Or what? What? Do you think I'm having a takeaway? What, what the fuck do you think I'm doing here? I'm watching a fucking movie. I'm going to watch a movie. I just fucking watched a movie. What the fuck do you want me to do? Huh? What the fuck are you doing here anyway? <laughs> yeah, I got carried away a little bit. But, um, yeah, stuff like that is just stupid. Why ask it? You already know the common fucking answer. Better question would be, so what did you see? What are you going to see? So, yeah, keep that in mind. If love is blind, why is lingerie so popular? Uh, because it makes a woman's assets stand out, be more firm and perked up and just look in. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's your fucking answer. <laughs> why is the word for a fear of long words Hippopotamus monstrous roses cryptolophobia so long. Um, it's because people can't really pronounce those kind of long words, you know, big words, hippos associated with big bigness and all that stuff. So yeah, that's uh, the main reason why. But also I couldn't really say that word and I'm not gonna say the next word I'm about to say. It's um that Welsh town slash village, um uh Clanfair PG, it's known for in short. Uh, it's on Anglesey in Wales, UK. Uh, the full name is Clanfair Poigunlegogh Crydrobblewil Flanty Silo Gogogogh. Yeah, I can't even fucking pronounce that right at all. So, yeah, if you can pronounce it right, just fucking tell me. Do a video response. Ah, uh, wait, you can't do fucking video. Fucking Google. Fucking Google. Fucking YouTube shit. Post a video anyway, fuck it. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> oh my god. And the, uh, I don't even know where to go now. What if Batman gets bitten by a vampire? Does he become Bat Vamp Man? Yes, he does become Bat Vamp Man. Or Vamp Bat Man. I don't know. The fuck does he become? I've never seen, never heard of the thing. Did the Mayans get bored after reaching 2012, or is the prediction for real? Um, they all got slaughtered. Alright, let's just go with that. They all got slaughtered. They reached December 2012, put in 21st, and then all of a sudden, they got killed off. Yep. Tragic. Tragedy. Tragedy. Better. If a fork were made out of gold, would it still be considered silverware? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I I'd call it jewelry. And fucking cutlery still. Yeah. There we go. Why do all the superheroes Why do some superheroes wear underpants on the outside of their trousers, leggings, tights, etc.? I believe that's because with trousers and tights wherever you're gonna you know, when you're fighting, when you're a superhero fighting some monster, some fucking alien race or whatever, trying to destroy the world. And it's all up to you to try and stop them. So that puts on a lot of pressure. You're going to be scared by random monsters and aliens. So you're going to be pissing yourself and shitting yourself. So by having your underpants on the outside, um, it allows the piss and the shit uh, slide down your leggings and just fall out the end. They may go into your boots, they may not. It depends what kind of trousers and boots you are wearing, for that matter. But yeah, if you ever need to get changed quickly, just wear those pants that you got on the outside, simply enough. Yes, saving the world from monsters and evil fucking aliens does get a lot of tense and fucking creepiness and does scare the shit out of superheroes. That's why they do that shit. Yep. And guess what, lovely ladies and gents, gods and goddesses alike everywhere around the world listening to this right now. This has been the end of this another stupid random question, stupidness of uh, Yahoo answers and various other side questions of stupidity for you all. So yeah, I've answered them to the best I can. I have got some links of where I've seen these questions used from down below in the description. 
Uh, comments, whatever the hell you want to comment, like this if you liked it. Thank you for watching and listening as always. I've been First Melagard, and share this to anyone you want, by the way. Dislike if you didn't like it, and all that other stuff. That's what I want to say before I go. Yep, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching and listening again. Sorry, deja vu. I know. But anyway, I've been First Melagard. Oh, I'm never going to finish this, am I? Right, yeah, that's me. That's me. The stupidity of these has yet again gone to my brain. Yep. Anyway, thank you. Bye-bye.